government officials confirm no casino is operating in Boracay Island as it reopens on Friday, October 26. This after the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation agreed to revoke the franchises of casino operators there. Interior Secretary Año says PAGCOR Chair Andrea Domingo issued a cease and desist order to stop the casino of Alpha Allied Holdings Limited operating in Movenpick, Boracay. Año says the casino there is now padlocked. PAGCOR granted licenses to the Alpha Allied Holdings Limited and a provisional one to Macau-based Galaxy Entertainment Group. Galaxy's local partner, Leisure and Resorts World Corporation, purchased land in Boracay but has not yet built physical structures. PAGCOR also indefinitely suspended Galaxy's license. Justice Secretary Menardo Guevara wants President Rodrigo Duterte to issue an executive order banning casinos in Boracay. Opposition lawmakers slam President Rodrigo Duterte for moving Customs Chief Isidro La Peña to Director General of the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA. The lawmakers call it a promotion because TESDA position is a cabinet post. Act Teachers Representative Antonio Tino says the, quote, recycling of La Peña is meant to, quote, insulate him from possible charges. Act Teachers Representative Franz Castro, for her part, asks, what would an ex-police general even even do in an education-related agency. Meantime, Akbayan Representative Tom Villarin lambasts what he described as Duterte's musical chairs policy. Villarin notes it also happened to former BOC Commissioner Nicanor Feldon. While Don resigned as BOC chief after a 6.4 billion peso shabu shipment got into the country last year, while Don was later appointed as deputy administrator in the Office of Civil Defense and is being eyed to lead the Bureau of Corrections. The word tokhang has been chosen word of the year by experts on the Filipino language during the event Sawikaan 2018. Tokhang is a merger of the Cebuano words tok-tok and hangyo meaning to knock and plead. It soon acquired a new meaning, to fall victim to the government's war on drugs that saw an estimated 5,000 killed. Human rights groups say the number is as high as 20,000. Other words like Dengvaksha, DDS, Dilawan, Fake News, Federalismo, Foodie, Kowaranto, Recibo, Train, and Troll were finalists as Word of the Year. Words can be nominated if these are newly invented, newly adopted from an indigenous or foreign language, an old word given a new meaning, or a word no longer in use and newly resurrected. Sawika on 2018 is a project of the Filipinas Institute of Translation, along with the UP Diliman Office of the Chancellor, UP Diliman Information Office, and the Commission Sawikang Filipino. The Pentagon is expected to deploy about 800 troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. President Donald Trump says the military would help tackle a national emergency and calls on a caravan of U.S.-bound migrants to turn around. The active-duty troops will augment the 2,000 or so National Guardsmen already deployed to support operations on the border. Troops will include doctors and engineers. Thursday's move comes as thousands of Central American migrants cross Mexico toward the United States in a slow-moving caravan. The United Nations estimates 7,000 people have joined the caravan since it set out from San Pedro Sula, Honduras, October 13. Johnny Depp is not expected to appear in a possible reboot of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. The Daily Mail says in an exclusive report that the actor will no longer be playing Captain Jack Sparrow. One of the original writers of the movie, Stuart Betty, confirms talk that Depp is out of the franchise. Depp himself said in early October that Disney thought of every way to get rid of me in Pirates because of the personal creative decisions he made in portraying Captain Jack Sparrow. Depp played the role of Sparrow in all five Pirates films from 2003 to 2017.